there is no advanced restart button hence i am using volume up button and power button to boot into recovery if you have advanced restart button you can directly boot into recovery using that as the poco logo appear you can remove the finger on power button and continuously press the volume up button again you will receive a haptic feedback then you can remove the other finger too as you can see this is the latest available twrp recovery for poco x3 go to wipe section here and select advanced wipe and select dalvik catch and data and swipe here to wipe it once that has done go to home section here and select install and select the storage i mean micro sd card wherever you download rom zip files first flash the firmware here 12.5.7.0 eea global this is the latest available firmware for poco x3 flash the same again that has been also done again go to home section here and select install and select the rom zip files got roms here cr droid android 11 2022 420 this is the latest available build with android 11 you can see here i will get a little bit closer as you can see version 7.17 version android 11 and uh, april 20 latest build with april security patch it takes a little bit of time to flash the rom wait until it gets flashed as you can see the rom zip file has been successfully flashed this cr droid always comes with no jobs with uh, vanilla build it will come so in second go to home and select here install and select the jobs version it's an android 11 so i am flashing flame jobs 11.0 full we can flash basic also it also takes a little bit of time always this shared red comes with like vanilla build hence you need to flash manually the jobs that you need to keep in mind and the firmware is also 12.5.7.0 this is the latest available firmware for poco x i'm flashing the same already flashed you can check out and after this g apps you need to format the data and boot into system that's how it is the new firmware link has been already given in the community section you can check check there in my channel itself the youtube community section you can check out there there the link to that firmware download has been given no need to spam in comment section check out there okay as you can see the uh, g apps is also successfully flashed go to home section here and select wipe and select format data and type here yes and press this tick button done again go to home section and select reboot and select the system this is how the flashing method of cr red 7.17 with android 11 for poco x3 nfc surya global whatever it is follow the same method follow the same i mean methods and download the same rom zip file same g apps variant and the firmware everything follows same method then you will never face any problem and here we go it's booted into share drive we will go into explain everything in detail regarding this rom even the bgma gameplay is also included stay tuned till the end of the video and let's begin this video <laughs> hey hi hello welcome back to my new video this is sampath you are watching sampath snapfx poco x3 custom rom reviews and this is the cr drive version 7.17 with android version 11 you can see here and the kernel user is 4.14.246 lineage os kernel has been used which is the build date is april 20 20 you can see here and the windows security patches first march 2022 and android security patches 5th april 2022 and i have been running the cp throttling test from last five minutes you can see here the maximum is 151 and average is 127 and minimum is 61 there is a throttling going on and cp is throttled to 76 percent of its maximum performance this is how the cp throttling test and this is the home screen and app driver of it it's a typical android 11 style here you get quick settings panel you can add here for example if you want to use this dark theme and location you can drag them to have that sync option i don't want this let's drag this and disable that that's how it is and uh, regarding dialer you get this kind of dialer let me increase a little bit of volume here okay and there is a direct video call feature is available in this particular rom say at 7.17 and there is a call recording feature too 
if you press this it will announce the other person that recording the call that's how it is that's how the call recording feature has been given in this particular rom now coming to android benchmark results in this particular rom you get 3,56,248 you can see here and temperature raise was just 1.4 degrees celsius and 2 percentage of battery drop has been noticed during this testing that's how the scores it's pretty good not bad android 11 is still capable to handle most of the apps you want to use i will show you the bgma gameplay very soon and also the gig pen scores here this is not great single score is just 473 and multi score is 1425 and the kernel used here is linux 4.14.246 lineage os kernel as i said before too and if you press here you get styles and wallpapers you get only this kind of wallpapers you can change style from here grid and clock style that's how it is plenty clock styles are here but wallpapers are only one given that's how it is and into widgets you won't get any android 12 style there's an android 11 keep in mind there is an android 12 builds also with regarding this rom i mean the android that is version 8 and this is version 7 if you want android 11 based then you can check out this 7 version and app drawer you get options home screen options and icons that's how it is and let me disable this dark mode and also uninstall the android benchmark and by the way if you are first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below guys and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it like and coming to safety net status here it will get passed as you can see you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay paytm whatever you want to use all the apps are going to working fine here and on whatsapp is also working fine no problem regarding that and into drm info you will get level 1 certification such that you can watch all the ODT applications in HD resolution that's not the problem here and coming to status I have here like 100 MPS Geo Giga Fiber connection it's pulling up to 90 to 95 MPS which is pretty good and even with mobile internet also it's working fine no problem regarding that even carrier aggregation is also working fine that's also not a problem and even the earpiece is fine and headphone jack quality is also fine in the ROM no problem I never faced any problem it depends upon your location the speeds and the plan you have that's how it is and uh, camera application you get this kind of basic camera just ignore using that and flash uh, install this camera you can even flash the ANX camera also hence it is an Android 11 based custom ROM you can definitely flash the ANX camera and uh, this Arno build Gcam working fine even with 1.2x and even in the video mode everything going to working fine I already shared this to many one sorry many people that's how it is and google maps also working fine everything is fine in this rom the new update bring latest security patch and some tweaking has been done and into settings this are the settings panel you can get here first you get apps and notification here you can choose the default apps from here if you want to change the home app to some other like some other launcher you can change from here into battery this are the battery manager and everything you get thermal profiles are also included in this rom it taking a little bit of time to load but that's present and the battery temperature you can see from here into display you get dark mode as i said before and there are presets you can keep deep gray charcoal black and amulet black amulet black gives you pitch black condition as it was in the early of this video you have already seen that and night light also you can increase or decrease the intensity and screen timeout you can choose from here and colors keep it to boosted adapt your natural looks out like washed out colors and default refresh rate kept to 30 and peak refresh rate 120 i'll keep this also 120 if you want very good battery life you can change it to 30 that's how it is and the ui is smooth enough and tap to wake is given prevent accidents you wake up and wake on plug enable blurs those options are still given into sound settings you get touch vibration haptic feedback you can enable or disable from here clicks uh, sorry clear speaker is given and me sound enhancer you, this is the direct sound settings you can keep the headphone type and the preset type from here those basic things are working fine no problem regarding that location you get as i said before also google maps working fine into security option you get app lock smart lock face unlock and fingerprint unlock let me show you the fingerprint unlock as you can see it's pretty quick to unlock just tap and gets unlocked within a fraction of seconds 
and let's say the face unlock too as you can see it's very quick just press it's get unlocked and that's how the face unlock and fingerprint unlock mostly you can't see this kind of faster fingerprint scanner and face unlock in android 12 based cr droid that's how the unlocking speeds of android 11 based cr droid and uh, regarding accessibility menu you will get that but android 12 style is a little bit better into cr droid settings you get plenty of options here in the status bar you can customize in the quick settings you can customize lock screen settings plenty of options are given navigation you can customize buttons you can customize user interface plenty of options given here you can change everything notification sounds and miscellaneous settings and in the gaming mode you get these kind of options and about share droid this how the settings you get let's see the bgmi gameplay what all the graphics settings and how it will handle in this particular ROM. And as you can see here, now the BGMI with graphic settings, you need not to unlock anything. Yes, yeah, just you get smoothless 90 FPS option, just enable it, you will get smooth game. And in the HD, you get just high as you can see. Only in the smooth, it has been unlocked. In Android 12, you need to manually unlock that in the settings, but no need to worry in Android 11. That's how it is. And let's see how it handle in boot camp. I'm in the Sanok map. And also I will show you following this with 3dm let's see how it really handle the gameplay if you are already using this rom as a daily driver and playing as a gaming rom like that do share your experience as that others will understand what's best in this particular rom and if you face any problems also do share it in the comment section below so that other people also note that oh no i want to go boot camp guys it's too far let's try i can go that's how it is the gameplay could be fine smooth plus 90 fps android 11 even you can have very good battery life if you keep to refresh it lower whenever you don't play the games then you might get very good battery life too that's how it sh should be and into boot camp already many people landed maybe I am late here to the party and you can see the volume panel here it's almost 84 percent almost full there was a little bit of lag when I reached boot camp No one landed here. Sometimes everyone land here only, but now no one landed. There are few people around that side. Let's check. The gameplay is smooth, definitely you can have as a daily driver with this particular rom as a gaming rom also you can use as a bot I'll do one thing, I'll go to 3D and show you. You can see here the same graphic settings again set to smooth plus 90 FPS only with 3 dm Let's see how it handles. There is no live FPS count to turn on. Maybe I missed it. It was there in the settings. I don't know. But the performance is smooth enough. I can feel that while playing the game. Okay, I will come back. That was the gaming experience with this particular ROM and I will show you the charging animation with 33 watt charger. You can see here. 
it is charging slowly it shows let's see again charging rapidly it should come it takes a little bit of time to show that option or what happened i don't know again let me try it is showing charging slowly i don't think so it support fast charging in this particular rom if it is a deal breaker for you to flash this rom then you can look out other roms i will test again will it support 33 watt fast charging or not and this is all the recent screens you can see here it's an android 11 type of thing ram management is also fine enough no problem regarding that i hope I explained everything and this is the verdict you can use it as a gaming rom also if you are looking for android 11 based roms then you can use it as a daily driver too everything is working fine if you want anx support then you can flash that also that's how it is and thank you for watching guys we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now